Her son was hardly a year old when Allahabad-based Shweta Gupta started losing her vision. A medical reaction a few years back had destroyed the ocular surface of her eye and slowly, as cataract formed in them, her days were restricted to dark rooms. She is one of the thousands of patients who have been given the gift of sight by Shankara Netralaya, one of the leading ophthalmic institutions in the world that offers hope to millions on the verge of imminent blindness in India. India, the world's biggest democracy, is home to the largest number of the blind and visually affected people in the world. While a growing population of the elderly presents challenges of increasing cataract blindness, poverty, malnutrition and a large rural population underserved by primary health care, makes other eye diseases rampant in both children and adults, affecting lives and disrupting livelihoods. 30 years back in 1978, one of India's foremost vitreo-retinal surgeons, Dr. S. S. Badrinath, realized that India's struggle against blindness needed a visionary approach where quality eye care was supported by ophthalmic research and training of a large cadre of eye care personnel. He thus set up Shankaranetralaya at Chennai in Tamil Nadu, South India, a modern temple of the eye that offers comprehensive and quality eye care to all sections of society, rich or poor, irrespective of their paying power. An institution of vision that has combined cutting-edge ophthalmic research in fields like nanotechnology, stem cells, molecular biology, among many others, to treat various eye disorders from simple refractive error to complicated retinal diseases, corneal blindness and ocular surface disorders, many of which were till recently untreatable in India. First of all, we did MMG, MMG operation, in which we removed the lips from the lips and the eyes of the lips. My eyes were rough because of the dryness. So, we had to remove the lips from the lips and the lips from the lips. We call it MMG. और उसी समय एक यहाँ पर एक छेद होता है आँख के पास जिससे आँखों का मॉइस्चर नाक के थ्रू निकल जाता है तो वो आँखों में बना रहे उसके लिए पंक्टल कॉट्रिया का छेद होता है वो उसे बंद बंद करना कहते हैं तो उसी समय दो ऑपरेशंस किए पंक्टल कॉट्रिया एक एमएमजी an institute that trains eye care professionals to impart quality treatment to the visually impaired brothers and sisters शंकर नेताले की वजह से है। हम लोग तो बड़ा हताश हो गए थे, लेकिन यहाँ का आके दिशा जो है बदल गई है। ये लोग सोचा कि अच्छा सब होगा। शंकर नेत्रालय इस एक यूनिक प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूशन डेट अंडर डी मेडिकल रिसर्च फाउंडेशन वर्क्स विथ फोर मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स, पेशेंट केयर, कम्युनिटी सर्विसेस, � its high quality consciousness has ensured that every milestone achieved by the institution is a milestone in ophthalmology for India. With a patient base of over 2 million, Shankara Netralaya was the first charitable eye hospital in Asia to receive the ISO 9000 certificate in 1997. As an institute set up in the true Gandhian spirit of serving society, Shankara Netralaya is committed to the poor and offers free treatment to all urban and rural poor whose monthly salary is less than 70 US dollars. With age-related cataract being one of the leading causes of blindness in India, it conducts around 10,000 free cataract surgeries every year in a separate Jaslok Community Ophthalmic Center dedicated to treating the poor. Every week, the institution conducts pre-screening camps in remote villages and districts of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh with local NGOs to screen patients suffering from cataract. These patients are then brought to its base hospital in Chennai for their free surgeries. 
Shankara Netralaya provides the same quality of treatment and surgeries to its free patients as it does to its paying patients. All patients in the Jaslok Community Center are provided free food, given free medicines and taken back home by the hospital following their surgeries. The doctors are also sent for the post-operative visits and the patients are brought in at the final visit on 45 days for their glass check. Yang saya sokong, yang orang anu waktu itu minta mari orang orang anu serupu, orang serupu yang dah aspet tali yang saya anu waktu itu pakai kerja ada. We did a check of 2,000 surgeries done in the community section by the trainees, and we found that more than 92% of the patients had got back 6-9 or better vision, which is at par with the WHO standards. Sangat ni kalau anda apa sahaja, ini benda kena nalar teri deh. At Shankaranetralaya, thus serving the poor is a philosophy that the institute lives by. To bring modern medicine to the rural countryside, Shankaranetralaya joined hands with the Indian Space Research Organization to start the pioneering teleophthalmology project in the year 2003. Its teleophthalmology vans, fitted with equipments for examining and imaging the eye and VSAT communication facilities, hold camps in the villages of states like Karnataka and Tamil Nadu every month to screen the people for eye diseases. Images of complicated disorders are hooked up via the satellite to the main hospital where experts diagnose the disease and prescribe treatment. With refractive error being the second leading cause of visual handicap in the country, Shankaranetralaya, with support from Essilor India and the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, started the mobile refraction vans that tour villages, offering free eye checkup and dispensing glasses on the spot to villagers, thus saving them precious money and time from traveling to cities for primary eye care diagnosis. Today, its mobile refraction vans tour the villages in states like Karnataka, Maharashtra, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu. Shankaranetralaya's success in scaling new heights as an institution with a vision is due to a strong support from society, both national and international, that has donated to its various initiatives. The goal for which Netralay was conceived was born to provide an international quality eye care at a very affordable cost. In order to keep the cost tariff very minimal, affordable to a middle class family, Netralay, whenever they build the institution, a new complex, do not raise the tariff but make an honest and humble appeal to society. Every consultant room, every operation theater, every block of building, and every campus is named after a donor who has contributed to the cause of Shankaranetralaya. While the common man has supported free eye surgeries with a donation of a few hundred dollars, a renowned personality like Nani Palkiwala has donated his entire life savings and property to the institution. And when I come to, a, to an institution like this, it replenishes my face in the future of India. We feel that I'm in the midst of human beings who are human and who will one day make this country great by their dedication, by their sense of discipline and by their service to their fellow men.